Um, my name is Nate Legro. I am a professional magician. All right, boys, come on. I took what I learned from many different sleight of hand and ball manipulation books and really tried to turn it as extreme as I could go. I wanted to do a trick that used only sleight of hand. There's no magic objects. There's no, there's nothing that looks like something, but really it's something else. It's just me, a number of uh, manipulation balls, and uh, just stuff that I've learned over the years. When I was about six or seven, I was living in Michigan at the time, there was a local magician that worked at a uh, Burger King. Whenever we had a birthday party, we'd go and watch the magician. I remember being really fascinated with his rope tricks. Uh, I was amazed that he could make like a knot just kind of come off the rope without doing anything that suspicious as if one would tie their shoe and then he just plucked the knot right off the rope. My grandmother got me a book in magic that uh, really kind of showed me the next level of tricks that weren't just the stuff you might get in a Happy Meal or just like the cheap things you'd get at a carnival. And then in fifth grade, my school had a talent show and that's where I did my first ever performance. And that was fun because one day I went from the kid that knew a couple of the tricks to the kid that knew what the magicians know. I was always kind of interested in different types of performing. Like a stand-up comic is different than going to see an orchestra perform, but you can still enjoy both. So I was very interested in comics and learning why jokes themselves are funny. In comedy, in a joke, you are creating tension, and then with the punchline, you break the tension. So if I'm working on a routine, that's really how I try to work the routine. building up to something, and then there's a definitive end for the trick. It's very therapeutic to be up in front of an audience and just have a room full of people. <laughs> Even if it's just for a half hour or the 45 minutes I do my show, to actually like it and applaud it and then come up after the show and tell me how much they like the show. A lot of magicians today, they don't use hats and that's such an iconic image and I love that I have a hat in my act and I use it. What I love about my finale is I make the pineapple appear under my hat and really my hat wasn't involved in the trick the whole time. Magic has been around for thousands of years. Uh, it's one of the very first performing arts. People love to be entertained and magic is entertaining. I have a lot of confidence that magic is gonna s stick around for a while.